In this video, let us see about velocity and acceleration of a fluid particle. How velocity is represented and how acceleration is represented. What are the different types of acceleration of a fluid particle that may exist? We will see about that. Firstly, velocity. We know that velocity is velocity is a rate of change of displacement. So velocity can be represented as rate of change of displacement. Per unit time, how much uh, displacement it is moving? That is called as velocity. So uh, velocity may not be only in the specific uh, the specific x direction or may not be in specific y direction or may not be in z direction velocity may be in x and y plane velocity may be in x and uh, z plane velocity may be in space that is x y and z space so velocity may be in any direction uh, but we represent u as in x direction in x direction what is the velocity that is u which is dx by dt this x is displacement in x direction suppose if we consider a 2d plane x and y are the axis if it is traveling from this point to this point this is x comma y so the distance traveled by this particle is x in x direction and the distance traveled by this particle in y axis is uh, y units is the distance traveled in y, uh, in the direction of y axis so this is the x is the displacement in x direction and uh, next v is equal to dy by dt y is the displacement in uh, direction of y axis and w is equal to dz by dt so this is how acceleration is represented sorry velocity is represented and also this velocity is represented in terms of vector u i i cap v j cap and w k cap so this i is unit vector in x uh, direction and uh, j is unit vector in y direction this is i this is j and this is k in z direction so this is how velocity is represented and what is the modulus of velocity so the magnitude of velocity is under root of u square plus v square plus w square so this is the magnitude of velocity and uh, this is the vector velocity so we have seen uh, in the types of fluids that uh, uh, steady flow uniform flow we have seen that in that uh, the velocity changes with respect to time with respect to time and also with respect to position with respect to time and with respect to position so this is very important to differentiate with respect to time and with respect to position so firstly let us see uh, how our acceleration classified tangential acceleration and normal acceleration this tangential acceleration is which changes uh, with a magnitude if the magnitude of velocity changes then it is said to be tangential acceleration if the magnitude uh, sorry if the direction of velocity changes then it is called as normal acceleration for example the flow is in this way so here this is the suppose this is the magnitude of uh, velocity v1 and this is the magnitude of velocity v2 so here the magnitude is changing then if magnitude changes magnitude changes velocity changes and acceleration exists if a uh, direction changes then we say that velocity changes since velocity is a vector if a uh, vector is magnitude which has magnitude and direction so if direction changes velocity changes then also acceleration exists so in this case the velocity is in this direction and uh, when it comes to this point the velocity changes in this way so here there is directional change of velocity so that acceleration exists that is called as normal acceleration uh, suppose this is converging suppose that this flow is converging so as it converges the velocity increases so the magnitude of velocity is increasing so acceleration exists so that is called as tangential acceleration if the magnitude of velocity changes then it is called as tangential acceleration if a well a direction of velocity changes then it is called as normal acceleration and also there are diff uh, different types of acceleration based on a uh, time and position we have seen that as the time with time and with position 
the velocity changes so if it changes with time then it is called as temporal or local acceleration temporal or local acceleration if it is changes with the position then it is called as convective acceleration we have seen in steady flow that if there is a flow and if we consider at this section at a, some time t1 the velocity is v1 and at time t2 after a change of time if the velocity is v1 then there is no change in velocity and uh, for that there is no temporal acceleration temporal acceleration means with uh, respect to time at any particular position if the velocity changes then that acceleration is said to be exist for example for t1 it is v1 and for t2 the velocity is v2 at this position at this cross section at the time t1 the velocity was v1 and at time t2 the velocity is v2 then it is said to have temporal acceleration or local acceleration we are considering only at a section but at different times then it is called as temporal acceleration for example there is a flow flowing and uh, at time t1 the velocity is v1 here and at time t1 the velocity is v2 so at a particular time at a particular time t1 the velocity at section 1 section 11 is v1 the velocity at section 22 is v2 so here the velocity is changing with respect to position in first position it was v1 and in second position it is v2 then it is said to have a convective acceleration at the same time at a particular uh, for example mm, after traveling 4 seconds so in fifth second this is fifth second this is also fifth second the particles here and the particles here having velocity v1 and here having velocity v2 so the velocity is changing with respect to position so at first position and at second position the velocities are different so it is said to have convective acceleration so that is the difference between temporal and convective acceleration so tangential acceleration is magnitude change of velocity and in mag in this tangential acceleration the temporal acceleration is given by acceleration is equal to do v by do t so temporal is at a particular section at t1 velocity is v1 and uh, at t2 time velocity is v2 at this section only so that is do v by do t and in convective acceleration uh, let me say this is local acceleration this is convective acceleration so convective acceleration is represented as this one. so velocity into uh, do v by do s so this is changing with respect to space coordinates or position so that is convective acceleration and in temporal acceleration for a normal acceleration that is so this is uh, tangential this is tangential so here temporal or local acceleration local acceleration which is normal is equal to do vn by do t so normal acceleration is change in the direction so the velocity is here in this case and for the particle reaching here the velocity direction changes so that is do vn by do t for this at this section for time t1 it was velocity v1 and at time t2 the velocity is v2 so that is do vn by do t and uh, convective acceleration convective acceleration is v square by r so convective normal acceleration is v square by r so this r is radius of curvature of this uh, uh, streamline radius of curvature of streamline is r so uh, the tangential acceleration total tangential acceleration is equal to this temporal acceleration plus convective acceleration this temporal acceleration is do v by do t plus v into do v by do s and in this case normal acceleration it is temporal or local acceleration plus convective acceleration in temporal acceleration it is do v n by do t and uh, convective acceleration is v square by r so we have seen in velocity that 
in x direction the velocity is different in y direction velocity is different and we sum up the all values then we get the actual velocity which, uh, with which it is traveling so in uh, acceleration also in x direction in y direction and in z direction we have different values so in x direction acceleration in x direction is equal to do u by do t so do u by do t is with respect to time the velocity is changing that is called as temporal acceleration this is temporal acceleration plus so this is uh, do v by do t and in x in case of x direction it is do v by do t here it is uh, velocity into do v by do s in the, uh, in x direction that will be u into do u by do x plus v into do u by do y plus w into do u by do z so how to remember uh, this equation is the acceleration in x direction which means change of velocity in x direction so change of velocity in x direction means change of velocity in x direction uh, that may change uh, with respect to x or that may change with respect to y and that may change with respect to z and uh, this representation is v into do v by do s so here u v w comes here so in y direction that will be so do v by do t plus here do v by do x plus do v by do y change of uh, velocity in y direction with respect to y and the change of uh, velocity in y direction with respect to z and here comes u v w and in z direction it is do w by do t this is temporal acceleration and uh, do w by do x plus do w by do y this do w by do z and we need to multiply this with u v and w that's it remember this in the simple way so here uh, we represent uh, this with acceleration is equal to dv by dt we write it with capital letter so that is equal to do v by do t plus v into do v by do s so this is temporal this is uh, convective acceleration so this is temporal or local and this is convective acceleration so that is the difference between convective and temporal acceleration and uh, the total magnitude of acceleration is equal to under root of at square plus an square so norm uh, this is tangential acceleration and uh, this is normal acceleration so that is the magnitude of acceleration so we have seen that steady flow uniform flow steady and non uniform and steady and uniform and steady and non uniform so for these flows what are local acceleration and convective acceleration for steady flow and uniform flow in steady flow at a particular section for time t1 and for time t2 the velocity will not change that is called as steady flow and for uniform flow in uniform flow at a time t1 and at a time t1 at different sections here velocity is v and here also velocity is v so that is called as uh, uniform flow and for steady flow there is no change in velocity with respect to time so at a particular section there is no change in velocity so local acceleration will be zero and convective acceleration what is convective acceleration with respect to position the velocity is changing or not that is called as convective acceleration so for uniform flow the velocity is v at particular time t1 and uh, at particular same time t1 the velocity is v at another section then it uh, then there is no acceleration Velo the velocity is not changing so no convective acceleration so convective acceleration is zero and for steady flow local acceleration is zero that we have seen here zero and uh, non uniform flow what is non uniform flow at a particular time t1 at one section and at particular time same t1 at another section if the velocity is v1 here and if the velocity is v2 here the velocity is changing so the acceleration exists so acceleration exists which acceleration convective acceleration exists for non uniform flow and for unsteady what is unsteady 
at a particular section at time t1 if the velocity is v1 and after a time t2 the velocity is v2 so at different times the velocity is different the velocity is changing with respect to time so that is called as local acceleration and this local acceleration exists for unsteady flow and uh, for a uniform flow what is uniform flow this one so at a particular time t1 the velocity is not changing at different positions so the convective acceleration is zero and uh, unsteady and non uniform so for unsteady local acceleration exists and for a uh, non uniform convective acceleration exists so this question may be this type of question may be asked in gate and ac so remember this you no need to remember but uh, if you understand the steady and uniform clearly and uh, local acceleration and convective acceleration clearly you can solve this so that is about uh, velocity and acceleration